Good morning, Detroit. Jason Ball with Miller Electric. And today's quick tip is coming from the workshop here. It's cold out. I had to put wood in the fire because I do not like working in a cold shop. So it's frustrating that the weather hasn't been cooperating. Some signs of life coming back to the D in some small doses. We've got some automotive facilities trying to open up. We've got um, some small businesses have been getting a little more active lately. So signs of what the new reality are going to look like are kind of unfolding before us. So it'll get even more interesting, but a lot more people are starting to get back to work that can get to work. So that's awesome. Today's quick tip though, I wanted to address was on a Multimatic 220. I had a situation of an end user at a school here a while back, just before COVID started, that got us in the realm of some flux core. And I thought I'd share what I found out on some flux cord talking to the business unit because it was a great customer question. So let's head over to the machine. So when I was referring to the school that I was talking about and their understanding of the flux core versus a standard MIG mode. So one thing that threw people off is when you go to flux core on this easy set function, I'm gonna see if it'll tell me this. It says no gas. This customer interpreted that when it says no gas, they thought that it wasn't gonna turn on the solenoid in the back of the machine. I later tested that out and found that to not be the case. Like it says it's just a helpful hint that you can use a no gas process. So I can see how that could be confusing. Um, I actually talked to the business unit about trying to get some corrections made to how do we wanna do that nomenclature so that it, people don't just confuse when it says no gas, meaning it's just turning off the solenoid. So that was the first thing that the customer had brought up and was confused on. The second thing that they brought up was because they weren't using it on that setting of flux core, they were running it on like a C25 mix that they were doing with their flux core. The weld quality and the spatter levels and penetration were all off. Like nothing seemed very correct with it. But when you go to flux core on this setting, something I also learned from talking to the BU, is it switches polarity inside the machine. So I don't have to manually remove the positive and negative cables. The machine already does that and reverses the polarity. So if you're on flux core, you get reverse polarity and you're also still gonna get solenoid enabling on this. So you're still gonna be able to do a dual shield type of scenario with this wire. So that's really the quick tip that I wanted to share today is reverse polarity functionality of the flux core side, just because it says no gas means we still have gas. It's still gonna operate that way. So there's your Miller quick tip for the day brought to you by the workshop. So thanks guys for tuning in. Hope you're having a fantastic day out there. I know the weather sucks, but it's going to get better and uh, stay positive. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you guys out. Take care and have a great one. Have a good weekend.